take a look inside the numbers here this afternoon on Horse Play on the RTV6 app. And some bizarre numbers really on both sides of the fence. And you were just alluding to the time of possession between the second and third quarters. Uh, Tennessee had the ball 23 minutes. Colts had the ball just seven minutes. Uh, talk, I, I've never seen something that lopsided over a 30-minute span or so. But luck in the fourth quarter. Dude was nearly perfect. 11 to 13, 151 yards, two touchdowns. And with Chuck and Luck at the helm, uh, the Colts are 20 and four in one possession games. That's a winning percentage of 833, best of anyone in the NFL. Uh, which is just, I mean, if you're gonna win some games, that's how you do it. Right, right there. I think the team just had to be reminded of how to win. You know, yeah. sometimes you. you you're so used to winning, but you don't remember how to win after a long period of time off. And, and, and you kind of got to learn it each season. I feel like yesterday in the fourth quarter, we learned how to win again, uh, win a close game, get back in the game when we were down. But, I mean, it, it, it all is going to fall on the shoulders of Andrew Luck. I thought in that fourth quarter, we started to go no huddle. Mm -hmm. They started to be a little bit more vanilla on defense. The pace changed a little the bit. The pace changed. Yep. It, was, it was quicker. We did a better job in protection. We did a better job running the football because it was more – run when we want to run, mm -hmm. um, it, but it all falls on luck. You saw his numbers in the fourth quarter, but if you look at through the first three quarters, the first half wasn't bad. He was five of eight for about 90 yards, but no touchdowns or no, no interceptions. But then the third quarter, I think he was two and nine for 25 yards and two picks. Right. I mean, that that's a bad quarter, but then he has that kind of quarter on the positive end in the fourth quarter and was able to come back and win the game. More in luck here in a second. They change up front for the Colts offensive line mm -hmm. before the game. Uh, Costanzo still at left guard. Yep. They moved Muhort to left guard. I'm sorry, Costanzo left tackle, Muhort to left guard. Holmes is still in there at, at center. Thornton comes in for Harriman's at right guard, and then you move Joe Wrights. He got the start at right tackle. Um, I, there were still, what, five holding penalties? Mm -hmm. Thornton had four of them. A couple false starts. Uh, a couple false starts in there. All told, though, what did you see in that offensive line? Was it improved? from the first couple of games? I think it was pretty similar to the first couple of games, to be honest with you, until we started to go the in no the huddle quarter, in the yeah. fourth quarter. Um, you, you had the holding penalties. That could just be Hugh getting in, get, you know, beating a little off. First time you see that in first time, time. Action. And I got to be honest with you, some of the holding penalties that he got called on. Um, ticky tack. Very ticky tack. Very, very uh, just kind of his hand got a little bit outside the in, the mm -hmm. inners where you want to be for, for an offensive lineman. So it was, it was a little ticky tack. I mean, Hortz, uh, I, I don't think he's ready to play the tackle position. I think he'll get there. He looks like a guy that could play that, um, but he looked really comfortable at guard. That's exactly the word I was going to use. He looked much more comfortable. He looked at comfortable guard. at guard. And, and Joe Wright is just one of those guys that can just really go out there and play any position on the offensive line and look comfortable. Right. Um, I do think maybe Hugh Thornton's play time had something to do with Lance Lewis being injured, mm -hmm. uh, being a little banged sure. up. So I don't know if that'll be a long-term solution of him starting or, or when Lance gets healthy, he'll come back out there. Um, I don't know the reason for Todd Harriman's not, not starting, not playing. I, you know, it's one of those things. He is, you know, one of the older guys, one of the veterans. Um, so well, we'll that's something to, to keep an, an eye on that, yeah. as we move forward. Ideally, though, and we saw a lot about this, a lot of this in the first couple of games. How much time should Luck be getting in the pocket to throw the ball? Ideally, three seconds. Uh, ideally, four, seconds? four. Four. Ideally, four seconds. One thousand one, one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand four. Then the ball to sit gone. there because you look at the guys. It was to the point where he was getting maybe two seconds to throw the football. He, and when you're getting two seconds to throw, throw the football. You have to be really on your game pre and post snap read for a quarterback on mm -hmm. what you're getting coverage wise, what side of the field you want to work mm -hmm. um, based on rock combinations. Because two seconds, you might have time to look at your number one and your number two option. Mm -hmm. um, if you're getting four, you can possibly look at three options and get to your check down. Um, and, and you saw that later on in the game when mm -hmm. we started to go no huddle. They only started to rush four or five guys. He got much more protection. We started to hit some check downs. We did some play action pass. Everybody from the Titans uh, defensive secondary got deep. We hit Jack Doyle on a couple flat routes. We hit uh, uh, Gore on a couple check downs. And, and that's what you have to do when you want to continue controlling that clock and moving the chains. Because right. when you get behind the chains, and, and penalties are going to happen, but uh, it's been an inordinate amount of penalties the first couple of weeks. But if you can stay ahead of the chains, and it, it, four yards on first down, four yards on second down, and you're going to pick up a first down, and when you're really rolling, you're not even getting to third down. Right. You're going first down, second down, first down, second down, first down, second down, and moving the ball right down the field. 